Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today we are going to see the usage of inspect tool that is available in browser. If you have already subscribed, thanks very much. If not, please subscribe now and increase. Let's get started with the topic. So generally we know right, uh, we configure the UI elements in one of the rule in Pega called as sections. So for example, this is one of the portal and uh, you have live UI option just to see like what is the label or how it is configured, what are the settings like this. You can see over here using live UI component, but you want to know in backend what are the different uh, classes that are applicable for each and every component. Suppose this is an address. So here we can see just it's an uh, label component. So we will be using some browser, right? So if you do right click and if you see here, there is something called as inspect this one. Click on inspect. You will see some console over here. There are different uh, tabs like welcome, console, elements, sources, network, performance, memory, security, CSS overview and other types. So why this is useful? I will be uh, telling you through this video. You can see here this symbol, right? So click on this symbol and you just hover on whatever you want. Suppose this is director. If you see here director, this is using H2 class. And this is the element for director. Normally our sections composes of HTML code in backend. So if you want to see like a more detailed way, like how this particular element is behaving, you can use this inspect configuration. And this one, you can see this is an entire HTML code. For example, this is styles. So here, if you see, uh, this is H2. Okay, this is open span uh, font family and this is some 16. Now I want to increase it to 25 pixels. See, dynamically it has increased and see this font where it is bolder. So if you want to change this, you can do the change directly here. And if you scroll below, you can see body H2 tag and other contents as well. Suppose you want to check how this looks like and what is a padding. You can see this is having this 25, 255.215 into 31.250 padding. This is the border and this is the margin. So in the same way, you can uh, see how these UI elements can be visible in more convincing way. Suppose here uh, it is H2. Now I want to make this as h4 so that the size will be decreased see director is decreased now if you want to hover on another element suppose address you can select this and see address you can see here not only the values you want to change the value here you also you can do it so it won't be applicable or saved in the section just for our visionary purpose and uh, to know the behavior suppose if we implement this how does this look like to know this this uh, we use this inspect element it's not like you did this change and uh, suppose you close this console for example and if you refresh it the change will be gone because it will be not saved on the section it will be saved just on the browser session see this is same here now again i'm doing inspect See, it uh, went back to H2 because this was uh, defined on the section directly. If you want to do some uh, change and if you want to play around some HTML tags, you can do it and you can apply same on the section in Pega. So this will be very useful uh, inspect uh, where you may have n number of values and uh, even though you do not specify any space and if you are giving like visible with some space and your client uh, doesn't want to have that space and if you are not knowing like where to check like what is a padding suppose unnecessarily there is padding of some 10 pixel 
but in section there is no nothing like that and if you want to trace and see which element actually gives us more padding this particular inspect is very very useful for us and this is even witness like buttons and all if you want to see how this uh, is working you can see here not only that suppose this is a button you can see here in the back end this particular submit button code is like this so if you want to change some uh, uh, title to the button and if you want to check how it uh, looks like suppose submit application as this is long button you want to see how the button is there. see it got increased in this way you can play around with the inspect tool and actually you can debug more things on UI elements especially for small small spacing issues where we end up uh, wasting time seeing the section so instead of that if we go to this inspect it is very very useful for us hope you have learned a new concept uh, you also try this inspect tool and uh, provide your experience in the comments of this video thank you thanks for watching this video Please subscribe to my channel and share, like, comment my videos.